children. How do you communicate with your family and friends living in other cities or countries? Through chatting. To chat or video call your friends, what do you require? How do you use internet in your day-to-day -day life? For learning, online shopping, etc. So today, let us learn more about internet services. From class 5. Ways to connect to the internet. There are numerous ways to connect desktops, laptops, mobile phones, gaming consoles, tablets, and e-readers to the internet. Let us see some of the most common ways to connect to the internet. Dial-up access. To access the internet, you require a telephone line that connects your computer to a modem and the modem to your phone line. It decodes the signals it receives from other computers over the phone line. Then in reply, it translates your activity into signals as such that receiving systems can understand. Dial-up access runs on as needed basic. DSL connection. DSL stands for Digital Subscriber Line. It uses hardwired phone lines and is available only in locations close enough to phone company equipment setups. Users can still place calls while surfing the internet. Cable connection Cable internet connection is a form of broadband access. Through use of a cable modem, users can access the internet over cable TV lines. This service tends to run faster and cost more than DSL. Broadband The term broadband is shorthand for broadband width. It is one of the fastest options available. The connection is provided usually through telephone companies. Hotspots Hotspots are the areas that offer internet access over a wireless local area network through a router that then connects to an internet service provider. Hotspots connect the electronic devices to the internet through radio waves. Online means the computer is connected to network or various devices. The internet provides various services that make things quick and easy. Let us learn about them. Search engine Search engine helps you find the website or the information you are looking for. You need to type the topic name or the keyword in the search box. Then, press enter key. The search results are displayed as a list of links that would lead you to other related pages. Some of the popular search engines are Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Google is ranked as the number one for web search worldwide. It is by far the most popular. It has many interesting features that help you get appropriate results. For instance, you want to search information about your favorite cars. Type www.google.com in the address bar and press the enter key. In the search box, type the name of the car and click the Google search button. Google will find the best matching website for you. It also helps you search the pictures and videos of your interest. On the result, click image or video options, displayed right below the search bar. In the Google Chrome browser, the Omni box, or address bar, is at the top of the window. It not only displays the address of the web pages, but can also search the internet, and do other tasks. Yahoo search engine is owned by Yahoo. 
it gives you the most relevant information. Videos Images And answers to your questions from all across the web. Bing is a web search engine by Microsoft. It is similar to Google and Yahoo. It gives the search results for websites, images, and videos. Email Mail that you send using the internet is called electronic mail or email. It is a fast, inexpensive and a convenient way to communicate with others. An email account is provided by email service providers. An email address is unique, because that particular email address belongs to only one person in the world. Email address consists of a username and the domain name of the server that provides email facility. The at the rate symbol separates the email ID from the domain name. For example, in the email address, orchidselearning.gmail.com, orchidselearning is the email ID. And gmail.com is the domain name. There are many email service providers such as Gmail, Yahoo, and Outlook. Advantages of email An email reaches faster than a letter sent by post. It saves time. An email can be sent to many people at the same time. An email can consist of pictures, text documents and other files with it. You need not be online to receive an email. You can view all emails sent to you at your convenience. Email is eco-friendly as it does not involve paper, envelopes, and stamps. Online chatting The term, online chatting, refers to communication over the internet, by sending, and receiving real-time text messages. Nowadays, voice and video chats are quite popular. WhatsApp Google Hangouts Yahoo! Messenger Skype and Tango are popular examples of online chatting. Video conferencing allows you to communicate between two or more people at two or more geographically distant places via audio or video transmission. For video conference, people will need a computer, webcam, microphone, speakers, and an internet connection. It is widely used in education, business, and similar sectors where benefits of video conferencing reduces travel expense saves time and money improves communication allows more people at different locations to participate in the education sector video conferencing connects students from remote areas to teachers in cities a business head can use video conferencing to communicate with his team at a distant location. This saves time and money. Patients may contact doctors and physicians in case of emergency. People in defense use video conferencing while training to connect with their families. Skype Microsoft Skype allows you to make text, voice, and video calls over the Internet. It is a popular free communication service over the internet. You can easily connect with family and friends living in any part of the world. You can also send files, videos, and photos using Skype. Social networking is an umbrella for different aspects of building relations with people through the medium of internet. A social networking site is a website that enables users to create a public profile on a public portal L and interact with other users. For example, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and so on. Blogs 
A blog is a frequently updates online personal diary or informative article on a specific topic. The article that are uploaded on a blog is called posts. It is a place where you can express your thoughts and ideas to the world. A blog is normally public which means everyone can see it. A blogger is a person who participates in the activities of maintaining a blog. The activity of posting articles on a blog is known as blogging. Web feeds Web feeds are updates about the new content available on the websites. If you subscribe to certain websites, they will send you user updates on any new content. It is a facility available on blogs, news websites, job portals, etc. News groups News groups are like discussions groups or forums on the internet. These are the places where people discuss on various topics of various interests. Each news group comprises users who post articles in that group. Online learning Online learning or e-learning describes an educational program that is conducted over the internet. It provides the flexibility to the learner to learn anytime, anywhere. It also fosters self-paced learning. However, students with visual or physical impairments may find it difficult to gain knowledge through e-learning. E-learning is an expensive service because of which it may not be affordable across different groups of learners. Online shopping or e-commerce is an internet service where people buy goods and services. It helps you buy products without having to go to shopping malls or shops. Examples of online retailers are Amazon, Jabong, Mintra, and others. Online shopping advantages Online shopping is convenient. It is accessible round the clock. The price comparison and quality comparison of the products and services is possible. The product will be delivered to your doorstep. No worries about weather conditions. Easily pay through credit or debit card while shopping online. Disadvantages One cannot feel or touch items. Online stores often fail to offer warranties and guarantees. Credit card security issue is another major disadvantage despite the fact that how secure the website claims to be. Online Banking Through online banking, or internet banking, or e-banking, a bank provides its customers with different services, such as to submit applications for different services, to be able to make queries on their account balances, electronically transfer funds to, and, from your accounts, pay bills, and conduct other banking transactions. Online Reservation Online reservation is a method of booking tickets for railway or flight journeys. An e-ticket or electronic ticket is a paperless electronic documents used for ticketing passengers. Netiquettes while communicating online Computers and the Internet are a great tools for studies, leisure, and social activities. But as in the real world, rules and regulations apply while accessing the Internet. Let us learn some netiquettes to be a smart Internet surfer. Handle your username and password and personal information with extra care. Use a combination of alphanumeric keys and special characters for passwords. Always remember that you bear legal liability for the articles you write. Your articles should not harm or defame anyone. Do not reply to cyberbullies as this may encourage more bullying messages being received. Never arrange to meet with someone that you know only in the virtual world. Inform teachers or parents in case of any trouble.
Install an antivirus program to protect your machine. Spending too much time while playing online games affects health and disturbs routine for study and other activities. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.